Welcome to PH Red TV. In today's video let's find out more about red tide and why shellfish exposed to red tide should not be consumed. But before we continue, please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell icon to keep you updated on my future uploads. Without much farther ado, let's begin with our topic. Red tide is a marine phenomenon that poses great risk to the health and economic livelihood of people in coastal areas. The red tide is sometimes referred to as a harmful algae bloom or HAB. In some cases, harmful algae blooms are not dense enough to give ocean a particular hue. Their most prominent effect is often seen in the surrounding ecosystem. Most phytoplankton species are not harmful to people, but a small number of species are known to produce potent neurotoxins. These toxins can be transferred down the food chain. It's made up of microscopic algae or phytoplankton, which are essential to ocean life, affecting people who accidentally ingest them. The consumption of shellfish, such as mussels or clams, is one of the most common ways for humans to be affected by red tide. Paralytic shellfish poisoning or also known as PSP is a syndrome that people can develop if they eat seafood contaminated by a red tide. PSP can be life-threatening and often shows itself within two hours of consumption. Consuming toxic shellfish could lead to paralytic shellfish poisoning, which affects the nervous system within 30 minutes after ingestion. This causes tingling of the lips and tongue which spreads to the face, neck, fingertips, and toes. It will also lead to headache, dizziness and nausea. In severe cases, muscular paralysis and respiratory difficulty may occur within 5 to 12 hours. In non-lethal cases, these conditions may appear over the course of a few days. In severe instances, individuals may experience respiratory arrest within 24 hours of consumption. Coming into physical contact with red tide may result in breathing problems even for people who don't have previous respiratory issues. Reactions to red tide may be worse in individuals with asthma, emphysema, or any other chronic lung disease. To end our topic here's our key ideas for this video. Red tide may not be harmful to humans who aren't exposed to its toxins, but it can have a negative impact on marine life. If you eat seafood contaminated with toxins, neurological symptoms may occur and become serious. There's no antidote for syndromes such as PSP, but life support systems, such as a mechanical respirator and oxygen, can help you make a full recovery. See a doctor if you think you may have eaten contaminated seafood. In the Philippines under the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, NRTTF or the National Red Tide Task Force is mandated to monitor toxic red tides in our country. This is to protect the public from the illness and death caused by the red tide toxin and also to mitigate its negative impact to the shellfish industry. A regular issuance of the Red Tide update is also being undertaken. That's all for today, I hope you learned something new in today's topic. Thank you for stay tuning in, see you again soon here at PH Red TV.